Hi everyone, Kelt here. Well, the truth about Harry and Meghan's New York City trip is as follows. Hardly any crowds showed up to see them. In fact, their security and police outnumbered any fans. There's been quite an uproar over a video of Harry being rough with a child and pushing him away to watch. I don't see any reason for his abrupt actions unless he had something under his shirt, which he didn't want detached. Still not justified. One photo interestingly shows a wire coming out from under Harry's clothing. Could this be a recording device? That probably confirms the reason why he practically threw that child off him, although it wasn't justified. We've seen other videos, one which I cannot find, whereby I think he rubbed his knuckles on the child's head or or did something. I'm thinking, if I remember, that he banged his head against another child's head. It obviously hurt. If anyone can remember that video, that clip, he was visiting schoolchildren, I think. Um, but it doesn't seem to be anywhere on the internet. I might have put it in one of my older videos, but I don't know which one. This was in the early days of their engagement or marriage. It's almost like he's ADHD or something and doesn't know appropriate boundaries. He doesn't have any sort of control when, when he's with children. During the evening event, apparently he was trying to get the crowd going with various gestures, such as cupping his ear to pretend he couldn't hear them and yelling out New York City. The Express says he was acting like a bit of a rock star. Why does he have to act as anything? Why not just be a prince? Daily Mail is saying that Meghan's three-day New York wardrobe cost an eye-watering £67,000. None of it looked that amazing. The nicest out of it all, if I had to choose, would be the navy outfit, which was actually the cheapest at 2466 They weren't just followed by their security. It was believed that a film crew, which had been following them wherever they went, could have been part of their multi-million dollar Netflix and Spotify contracts. It was said that they were acting like they were world leaders. I noticed a short video clip of them walking past a group of photographers and Meghan is striding ahead of Harry and puts her hand up just by the wrist, barely lifting her arm, as if it's just a token gesture towards the photographers, almost as if she's sort of brushing them away. She looks as if she's too busy for anybody except the important people with whom she probably feels equal. Apparently, Omid Scobie said that they would be meeting with the UN top guy and their meeting was actually only with the deputy. There was a photo where she looked so upset. I think this was just after she realised that she wasn't that important after all. Also, Harry looks as though he's crying in one picture, although it could be anything. I thought her outfit for the evening event was too young for her and not flattering at all. I don't think it looked like her. I think that many of the pictures didn't look like her. She looks different in each one. I personally think that people should dress the way they like and I hate body shaming. If she wants to wear coats in hot weather, let her. If she wants to wear thin dresses in winter, so be it. If she wants to wear weird things, weird colour coordinations and white dresses that show everything underneath, who cares? But when she's putting herself in the headlines constantly, day in, day out and grabbing our attention, our money influencing our youth and monarchy, then it is our business. Let me have your thoughts and I'll see you in the next one. Please subscribe, ding my bell for more alerts for more videos, like if you liked it and share. Bye.